On the western coast of North America, a massive extinction event is taking place. In June of 2013, a disease called sea star wasting was reported spreading between ochre sea stars off the coast of Washington state. Within a few months, cases had been reported all over Oregon and British Columbia and multiple species of sea star. The disease then rapidly spread to Alaska and the southernmost parts of California, enveloping the majority of the North American coast. Symptoms would rapidly onset with a healthy looking sea star turning to liquid in a matter of days. Populations of sea stars in some locations had declined as much as 90% by the summer of 2014, just a year later. The species hit hardest were ochre sea stars and sunflower sea stars. However, this was not the first outbreak of sea star wasting disease, with small outbreaks having taken place in the early and late 70s, but this was the first outbreak of this magnitude. Scientists believe that the immensity of this outbreak can be attributed to rising ocean temperatures and a large heat wave in the summer of 2013. My name is Max Luthi, and my mom and I have been going to Washington beaches to look for sea stars since I could walk. Before sea star wasting disease hit in 2013, I remember often seeing hundreds of ochre sea stars at the beach. It would be rare that a trip did not result in us finding a couple of sunflower stars too. However, during the summer of 2014, I remember the sudden absence of sea stars. Beaches that used to have famously have heaps of them were now empty. If my mom and I found any sea stars at all, we would celebrate. Although we were occasionally finding ochres, from 2013 to 2019, we did not find a single sunflower star. As of 2021, ochre sea stars are starting to show signs of recovery, but sunflower star populations are still on the decline. In December of 2020, they were declared critically endangered, with recovery unlikely. As it stands right now, they have already gone completely extinct in their southern range, with no sightings reported in Mexico since 2016, and no sightings reported in California since 2018. An estimated 5.75 billion sunflower stars have died, one of the largest wildlife epidemics ever recorded. Based on the small previous sea star wasting epidemics, it is fair to say that had ocean temperatures remained constant, sunflower stars would not be headed for extinction. The footage I have gathered here is of a sunflower star I found at a beach in Washington in January of 2021. Knowing that it might be the last sunflower star I ever find, I returned three consecutive nights to film it. I have not been alive for even 20 years. Yet, in my lifetime, I have witnessed what is soon to be the extinction of an animal that was once abundant in my childhood. It is clear we are living in a world that is rapidly changing. The only hope for the many animals that may soon go the way of the sunflower star is for a difference to be made now. It is not too late for many of the incredible animals we share this planet with. I implore each of you watching this video to take the extinction of the sunflower star not just as a tragedy, but a call to action. Email state and local legislatures, go to protests, vote for eco-friendly policies, and do not let the world forget what we did to the sunflower star.